Okay, so we're coming back with another video. In today's video, we're going to talk a little bit about COVID-19. Are you preparing for COVID-19? And what are you doing to protect yourself? Hey! So, um, a lot of the schools are already closed by this point. And so I had several requests for people that know that I do IT on the side. So as you may know, I do some IT consulting uh, as part of my income. So I had some clients that were requesting uh, laptops or desktops for kids that uh, are now stuck at home. I had a scenario where a parent needs a laptop for their kids because they're using the only one they have so that they can work from home. So their work did not supply them with a another laptop. The only one they have is the one that they use for her work. So. I scratched together some resources and got a couple donations from able to donate two laptops. Uh, so we have two separate ones, two laptops. There's a, uh, they're Dells, so they're right here. Um, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to completely reformat these with windows on them so that they're ready uh, to go to their new home. As they're, they'll be donated. I'll be donating my own time and I'll be providing um, a Windows license that I'll be purchasing uh, for these laptops. Uh, if you know somebody who needs one, or if, or if they have a laptop or a desktop, uh, laptop's probably the only way that's feasible really to do it through shipping, but if somebody has a laptop and they need it for their kids, and it just needs to be completely cleared out and, and reformatted and maybe a little bit of refurbishing done, um, put it in the comments below. Uh, we'll see what we can do. We can't make any promises at this point, but uh, we may be able to get some donations together or maybe some funds to uh, be able to supply a couple more laptops. So we're doing two for right now. And, all right, and let's get started. So here we go. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we have plugged it in, the power, now I'm going to go ahead and plug in one of these flash drives. So I've preloaded Windows 10 onto this flash drive. All right, there we go. Cool side note, by the way, if you haven't ever listened to some of the speeches that Michael Dell does, the owner of Dell Computing, definitely go check him out. He's pretty good, a pretty good speaker. Uh, I had the opportunity to meet him at one of the Dell World conferences and I had a private conversation with him at that point. That was back in 2012, just a little side note. So anyway, so we are booting into Windows here. Uh, it's actually booting Windows from the USB drive. So this is not already loaded. A moment ago, we tried to install Windows 10. For some reason, there's a driver issue. So since we did already try to install this, we're going to go ahead and delete all the partitions. All right, we'll be back. A few moments later. Now Windows is booting for the first time. And now we're back. We're gonna go ahead and set it for Eastern time since that's where we live. All right, so it looks like we have fully installed Windows 7, or of course that is not ideal at the moment, uh, but we have installed it just to make sure the hardware is working. Uh, I'll have to figure out a way to get Windows 10 on here because we definitely want Windows 10 rather than Windows 7. So. so we'll go ahead and press F2 because that will interrupt the boot sequence. So we'll go ahead and do that. As soon as the logo comes up, that's when you want to do that. So F2, most Dell computers go by F2 to interrupt the boot sequence. Um, all right, so here we go. See how we have this set. So we have USB storage set as the default first. Yeah, that's what we want. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do that. We'll see if it boots to the flash drive immediately. And it should. Let's see if it works. Now we're at 94%. Looking good so far. Looking good for the redo. This is actually a Core i5 processor, Intel processor. Let's 
see that right there. Should have a fairly decent laptop when we finish. So yeah, apparently everything has worked and we should be loading Windows. So it was just a glitch that first time apparently. So we now have Windows 10 installed. I'm going to go ahead and leave it in the video still where we failed the first time and we installed Windows 7 just to kind of show you how fast it is to install Windows uh, from a flash drive. This should give you an idea of how quickly it can be done. Now, granted, that is just the beginning. So now you still have to configure everything and install all the updates, set up all the other drivers, make sure the drivers are up to date before we give this to the lucky family. Alright, we will let this percolate some more here. Alright, so we're going to go ahead from here and set it up the rest of the way. So I always just use the express settings here. Alright, we will give it a name. And I'll just get, make it generic here. As soon as we have this one finished, we can actually go ahead and start booting the other one. So we've got the other one sitting right here, ready to go. So we're going to focus on that one. So now we're going to do the same thing here, hit F2. Alright, those look like the other computer over here has finished. Alright, so we're going to actually be multitasking here, I guess. So, wait, that's Windows 7, that's the wrong one. That's not what I intended to plug in there. I have two, two USB here. Apparently I don't have it marked well enough. Well, looks like the one on this side over here died. Where do computers go when they die? The graveyard, obviously. Okay, one last little bit of video. I just activated both of these computers. They now have, both have genuine Windows 10 licenses on them. They are ready to go as soon as they finish installing that update. And that one. So as soon as those are finished, we will get these into the hands of the people who need it. If you would like to donate a laptop that just needs to be refurbished, maybe wiped, maybe uh, maybe it has, a, I don't know, something a little bit wrong with it, hopefully not something too crazy, but maybe it's just slow, and maybe you've got a newer, faster one, if you'd like to donate it, just comment in the video below, and uh, we'll figure out a way to get it shipped to me to, to refurbish, and then get it into the hands of somebody who needs it. Uh, we'll take care of the shipping costs. If you're, if you're willing to donate those, we will find a donor that's willing to match the funds. Uh, I've been buying the licenses myself and putting these on here. If they need a license, some some come with a license, some don't. Just depends. But we just want to make sure that kids can do their homework. Um, I realize most of them don't have homework from school, but they still need to be learning. They still need to be doing something that's educational. So thank you for supporting us. Alrighty, guess what? Two of them completed so these will be going out hopefully tomorrow actually it will be uh, these will go out before this video is live so you know, they're both working uh, I didn't install Chrome on them I may still do that before I send it out uh, just because I prefer Chrome as a browser uh, but they can do that themselves if they choose to <clears throat> so I've just set them up as no password the username is just user. Makes it pretty generic, pretty easy. Oh, I will still have to activate these uh, tomorrow as well. I probably won't make a video of activating them just because it's pretty straightforward. Or if you know what you're doing, it's straightforward. So, and if you don't, it's probably an expertise level that's not necessary. So, anyways, so here we have two Dell computers. Oh no, those or Eins. Bye. All right, folks. Thank you again. Be careful out there. I realize the coronavirus is a serious issue for a lot of people. Uh, 
it has certainly caused plenty of economic harm and difficulty. But this is just my way of being able to give back a little bit to those who are maybe worse off than I am, uh, or worse, or, or, off, or differently off in other ways. So, yes, and if you do need computer services and you are not in the area, go ahead and uh, just shoot me a message or leave me a link uh, or a way of getting a hold of you. I may be able to help you, and uh, I do work from home a lot. I uh, do go on site if you're in the area, but uh, anyways, thank you. Have a great day.